What we're looking at here is a 1993 V4 115 horsepower Yamaha. It's uh, 24 years old, bought by me in the year around about 2000, so it's seven, had 17 years at use. All in fresh water, apart from perhaps twice in the salt water, and during that time I've only done about 300 hours on it. Uh, during all during that 17 years, I've only done one water pump and pillar, so this is the first time the head has been heads have been off since the year 2000 and possibly since new. Um, the reason the heads have been taken off was I was out on the lake uh, doing about four and a half thousand RPM, went to open it up further, and um, the engine alarm sounded it showed on the dashboard that the temperature alarm was sounding and it, the engine shut down to 2000 rpm after allowing it to cool for a bit the motor went fine and as it did two days later except again i get the same temperature alarm so knew it was time to do something now the reason that uh, the alarm has gone off is most likely it is the thermostat or thermostats. Uh, no doubt and possibly one of the causes is that it has got caked up with salt um, or mineral deposits from the fresh water around here. Uh, the other side was much worse. Um, but it's more likely the thermostats. The other reasons, it could be a, the water pump impeller. Uh, I replaced one about four or five seasons ago, um, but the telltale was showing good. So, uh, and the other possibility is that it could be a faulty uh, temperature alarm. But it's most likely the thermostats contributed also by a salt buildup not allowing proper cooling. The pistons don't look too bad if we go in and have a good look at them. The carbon build-up doesn't look too bad for 17 years. So I've been using Yammer Lube oil, low, low uh, ash oil. Uh, I did use another oil for, for a while but went back to Yamaha on the hope that it would not build up carbon. So that they don't look too bad. Um, if we go, go across here, this is the poppet valve. The cover just came off. Pull that off, and we see there there's just a plastic, plastic uh, valve that just comes out and fits into, looks like a plastic on the inside. And if we go down here for a minute, we'll see that's all it is it just fits in like that so i'll just clean that up and put it back together okay now the difficulty in removing this oh, it's quite easy the bolts came out easy all i did was i took them off in the uh, reverse sequence that you meant to talk them up and then the hardest part was breaking the heads free of the gaskets and there's lugs uh, that, that are on the side of the heads used to lever the head off but I used just uh, a block of wood and a hammer and just tapped around and they broke free eventually um, the hardest part of the whole job is actually cleaning the salt and grime out, out of around the cylinders and cleaning the gasket um, gasket goo off and I've used a thick razor blade uh, such as there and used it vertically backwards and forwards scraping all the gasket goo off so that um, it doesn't gouge the aluminium okay we'll go down below here now and this is the left hand side facing forward so, so what we've got is you take off the cover the thermostat just fits in there like so just fits in, pull it out um, 
take off the cover and turn it over you can see that it's all been cleaned out where the um, water lies this is the head side salt builds up all in here this was very very bad on, on this side which is the left hand side face facing forward of the motor turn it over the other side and you can see that I've cleaned it out again it got all caked up and here very bad on the left hand side of the motor so it's all been cleaned out with a screwdriver uh, scraped off the gasket goose uh, residue scraped off and then a very fine wet and dry just touched up the worst areas if we go to the old gasket uh, where are we got yeah you can see here so you, where's my finger I make Oops, I got lost. Here we are. You can see the gasket is just about eaten through. So obviously, 17 years and 300 hours is too long. This should have been re replaced earlier. But apart from that, don't doesn't appear to be any leaks anywhere. Uh, the gasket held up okay. Now, if we go to the to the one that I haven't cleaned what we've got is we take off the cover this is the best side that's not too too bad uh, pull out the thermostat you can see here that it's corroded up so that's probably the cause of overheating I take off the cover and turn it over this is the right hand side facing forward it wasn't that's not too bad not not much residue in there at all, at all just a bit of cleaning out uh, there's the gasket that we take off um, but you can see here and the other side was other side of the motor was much worse how it all builds up and it's got to be cleaned off because uh, that's obviously uh, um, restricting the cooling turn the head over and again you can see how the salt see how the salt is built up and yeah there yeah, look at that and the other side of the motor was just about blocked in some of these places uh, th this is actually not too bad um, just needs a good clean up uh, the this is the temperature alarm and where that goes is on the other side it just fits in there like so so I just need to clean all that out clean all the services so there's a good contact area there okay yeah what we've got here here is the talking sequence for the head so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and four thou maximum or one millimeter maximum warpage on the head with a straight edge across it. Um, and so when I took the head off, we take it off in the reverse order to that. That's the order that it goes back on. Uh, the torque. 22 pounds foot pounds or 30 newton meters so I'm talking the big bolts I'll start them at 11 go right round on that sequence first first time and then second time take them up to 30 now the pump cover here's the order for the pump cover uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and a and then the thermostat one two three four that's the thermostat cover uh, so the uh, according to the manual six millimeter bolts uh, six foot pounds or eight newton meters meters uh, eight millimeter bolts 22 foot pound 30 newton meters 
Uh, all I'm going to do is clean up the bolt threads with a wire brush on my drill, get all the salt residue off them, I put a touch of oil on them, and so what can I tell you about this job? Not too difficult. 300 hours is too long uh, for, to, between checks. 